Most of the Trump children have become well known to the public over the years, but Barron remains a family outlier. The 11 year old son of the president first captivated the eyes of the world late on election night when he stood behind his father on the stage while victory was accepted. Barron, of course, looked more sleepy than jubilant on stage which inadvertently won over the cold hearts of an America that was mostly happy the election cycle was finally over. Who was this young symbol-like figure? It's time we get familiar with America's new boy prince, Baron Trump. One thing about the incoming first family to take note of is that it has a little bit more sprawl than the last one, owing to Donald Trump's multiple children by three wives. Baron Trump, the youngest of the clan, is but one branch of a family tree that includes Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr., born to Donald's first wife, Ivana Trump, and daughter Tiffany, born to Donald's second wife, Marla Maples. As for Barron, he's the only child of Donald and Melania Nostrump, and was born on March 20, 2006. Until recently, he lived with his mom in their Trump Tower penthouse on Fifth Avenue in New York City, while Dad moved into the White House after assuming his new role as BOTUS. Donald and Melania were married about a year prior to Barron's birth, in January 2005. As of this writing, Barron and his mother have officially joined President Trump in residence at the White House. But the reason they stayed behind wasn't because of the lack of gold plating in the West Wing. It was so Barron could finish out his year at the prestigious and very expensive Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, where he attended through the end of the school year. Reassuring him that he'd be able to finish out his year at the school that Us Weekly reports has a price tag of around $45,000 per year, Barron's mom told him, take it day by day, enjoy your life, live your meaningful life as I like to do. We're not sure the then 10-year-old Baron was able to process such a life-changing move through the lens of that fortune cookie wisdom, but he did get to finish the year with his friends and classmates. Although things at the school definitely changed after November 8, 2016. Anyone who has so much tried to walk near Trump Tower will tell you that Donald Trump's presidential victory has created major headaches for the city of New York. Apparently, though, few people were more worried than the parents at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School. Some parents are freaking out and worked up about security and what the school is going to do. A board member told Vanity Fair. Some are worried about safety concerns, others are reportedly annoyed about various inconveniences, like, you know, the time the school's sole elevator was blocked off for Melania for an open house event in 2016. The school even had a real-life scare scenario in March of 2017 when a lockdown procedure was put into place after a suspicious vehicle was spotted outside the building. According to the New York Daily News, a military-style bag in a B2 blue and silver pickup truck with an Indiana license plate was reported to police as a suspicious package, triggering a bomb squad response and the school's reactionary security procedure. It's a frightening scenario for any school, but one that carries additional weight when the president's son happens to be enrolled there. 
Now that Barron's actually made it to Washington, he has officially become the first boy to grace the halls of the White House in almost 60 years. Yep, the last time America had a first boy was all the way back in 1961, when John F. Kennedy's son, JFK Jr., moved into the White House when he was just a baby, according to CNN. And Barron made his entrance to the presidential residence in true Trump fashion, exiting Marine One and strolling across the White House lawn to his new digs while wearing a shirt emblazoned with the words The Expert. And here we thought Uncle Jared was the boy wonder of the family. 